Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Carla Fernández Barcelona from the HT unit in Hospital Clinic de Barcelona. And I am presenting the application of Validate in medication adequacy clinical decision support systems. So currently HDA involves the assessment of safety, clinical efficacy and cost effectiveness and sometimes ethical, legal, organizational and social issues. These subjects are being addressed separately from each other and as distinct and potentially relevant aspects that need to be taken into account in decision making. Stakeholders that interact with the healthcare technology often reason and behave from different value frameworks affecting the content and outcome of an HDA. Therefore, in an HDA, all the subjects and stakeholders' point of view should be included to provide the necessary framework to determine what empirical evidence is needed in order to assess a healthcare technology's value. The validating methodology approaches technologies and programs with an integrative approach where the study of all relevant aspects is closely integrated and the stakeholders are involved in a more productive way throughout the HDA process. So in scoping technologies, validate takes into account facts and values. This study aims to provide an integrative framework to assess clinical decision support systems regarding medication adequacy, that is MACDSS, using validate methodology. The secondary objectives are to review the scientific evidence on effectiveness of MACDSS in hospital settings and on the value and acceptability of MACTSS within the healthcare professionals community. It also aims to provide a deeper understanding of the different stakeholders' perspective on MACTSS. So a systematic literature review was conducted to retrieve all relevant information on MACTSS published in the past 20 years. This information was sorted by facts, that is the empirical evidence, the does it work or does it not, and the values, that is, is it important? Is it good? Why is it not being implemented? So information was also sorted by a stakeholder to reconstruct the interpretive frames, the how and why do each stakeholder think why they think, and perform a gap analysis, which is the information that's not available in, in publications. Then semi-structured interviews are being conducted right now with each one of the stakeholders to retrieve unavailable information, as well as to contrast the information found on the literature. So 597 articles were found and after applying the inclusion criteria, 33 articles were considered. Literature results indicated a positive trend regarding the effectiveness as the facts of MACDSS although very different effectiveness measures are being used in the studies and there is no consensus on which ones are the optimal ones. Nevertheless, when analyzing multi-stakeholder views, MACDSS appears not to be fully accepted in clinical practice. And the main reason seems to be alert fatigue and disruption of the workflow. A density map using the literature-based information was created to analyze the information gaps existing per stakeholder group and is currently being populated with interview data. It was seen that physicians are the stakeholder of whom more information is published, where while there is very few information available for, for other stakeholders. Preliminary interview results so far confirm some of the literature findings, like the fact that not all clinical stakeholders want the alerts to be reduced. For example, nurses want more alerts to have more information regarding the administration and dosing depending on which um, setting at the hospital we are, we are examining, and to provide information that has not been reported so far. So for example, the hospital pharmacist perspective or the fact that management of users' expectation is a key component of MACDSS adoption. All these points shape the, the framework for MACDSS evaluation in the future. So the lack of inclusive facts and multi-stakeholder values when assessing the health technology can lead to inaccurate information and scope and scoping, prompting in this particular case to suboptimal and fruitless MACDSS implementation. Then consideration of facts and multi-stakeholder values into the problem definition and scoping of health technology is essential to obtain unbiased information and recommendations for decision making. Thank you very much for your attention and enjoy your afternoon.